Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry, and today we're gonna to be making homemade onion powder. For those of you that are not familiar with that whole process, basically you're going to harvest onions if you have any, or you're going to purchase them from the store. You're gonna slice them up fairly thin or throw them into a food processor to chop them up. You're then going to lay them down on a dehydrating tray, throw them in your dehydrator and leave it on until they are dehydrated and they're crispy. You're then gonna throw them into a blender that you have and blend them up into powder so that you end up with homemade onion powder. Now, this is exactly what I did last season when I harvest my onions. And we have basically run out of our homegrown onions. This is all I have left of our homemade onion powder. And so I need to get kind of creative so that we can bridge that gap from now until we actually harvest this season's onions. And a couple ways that I have figured out how to do that is, one, I've been given my onions a haircut since I started growing them in my grow room. So I think I gave them two haircuts in the grow room and I have since then given them a, grow, uh, a haircut outside while they grow. Now, I just take the cuttings when I get those, when I do that haircut and throw it right into the freezer because I can still dehydrate these. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is we have Egyptian walking onions and I use the green stalks from those onions to make soups and I'll slice them up and put them on baked potatoes and in wraps and on pizza. And I'm gonna go harvest them and dehydrate them as well to add to the onion haircut pieces. The third thing that I'm gonna do is head over to my food forest and I am going to trim up my onion chives. Some of them have started to flower, but there is lots out there that hasn't. And I might as well harvest that while I can. I'm gonna bring all of that in and lay it on these trays. I already have some hair cuttings here from the onions out there and throw it into the blender, blend all those three things up to make a really unique and awesome tasting onion powder that will bridge the gap until basically end of summer when I'm able to harvest my onions. So let's head outside, let's get cutting everything that we want. We'll bring it back inside. I will then lay everything on these trays, show you how thick I lay them up. And then I will blend up what I do have that I've already dehydrated, just to show you what the consistency looks like when you use these types of things. So let's head outside. These onions here are Egyptian walking onions and they are a perennial. The great thing about them is that you don't have to do anything to them and they will propagate on their own. And so what I mean by that is if you see the top here, they're starting to get some bulbs in there and eventually that'll be a flower that turns to seeds and they will get super heavy. And eventually this will bend over or fall over and land on the ground. And what happens when it does that is that those seeds actually take root and the following year you will have additional walking on or Egyptian walking onions growing in that area. So I'm going to harvest some of these, but I'm not going to take the ones that are actually starting to get a bit of a flower because I'm actually going to cut those off later on and plant them in my food forest so that I have some up there. So these onions are great for, you know, using when you've run out of your regular cooking onions that you would harvest out of your garden. They have a really great oniony taste and they're very versatile. You can use them for everything that you would normally use a regular onion for. So I'm going to get started and start taking them and I just want to show you. 
Let me just, so I'll just show you the inside. So it is literally like a green onion. And so I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of them. And again, I don't wanna take the ones that are starting to flower. Okay, so I've taken the majority of the big ones. There is a bunch of Egyptian walk walking onions over here. They're a little bit smaller. I want them to grow a little bit bigger and I will use them later on in other recipes. So we're gonna head to the hill garden where I have some more of these and grab a few. why you would even want to or need to give your already very small onions a haircut. The reason that I like giving the onions a haircut is one, I can use the cuttings in meals that I'm making. I can make homemade onion powder. I can throw it into soups that I'm making if I don't have any onions. It just allows me that extra option. Another reason that I like to trim my onions is that all of that energy that would go into growing even longer greens actually gets diverted into growing bigger bulbs. And essentially what that means for you is that you don't have to grow a million onions. You can grow the amount of onions that you actually can fit in your garden space, knowing that the bulbs are gonna be a lot bigger. harvest to make my homemade onion powder are my onion chives and I have a few bunches here. Now there are a lot of pretty flowers on here that I can use for other things so I'm going to just harvest the greenery and leave the flowers for a later project. So I'm going to get started collecting all of the onion chives from all three of my plants and then we're going to head back inside. Take a look at everything that I harvest. It's pretty good considering that I left a ton of stuff outside still. So I can still go out there in a couple weeks and harvest more and do another batch if I want to. So I want to take a couple minutes to talk about, you know, what you need to do if you're going to freeze your cuttings because you don't want to turn your dehydrator on for one or two trays. So the dehydrator that I have is a nine tray um, dehydrator and it wouldn't make sense to me to put it on if I was only going to do one or two trays. So that's why I froze these. So what I'm going to do is use parchment paper on those trays because they are a little bit soggy and I don't want the drippings from these ones dripping through and getting on uh, the rest of my dehydrator trays and making a mess. So I'm gonna lay these out. I'm then gonna lay out the, um, the new cuttings that I just harvest. I'm gonna show you how many trays it takes for these, get them into the dehydrator, and then I'm going to blend up what I already had going just to show you what the consistency looks. start 
start layering these. Now I think, I think I'm gonna use the parchment paper for the chives as well, because the last time I did some chives, they kind of fell through the holes as well because they actually dry up and get so thin. So I think I'll just use them that way the whole dehydrator isn't filled with dehydrated onion bits. Okay. Just trying to fit all of the smaller ones on one tray. Okay. So this is only gonna be probably three trays worth. So I will need to dehydrate something else, some apples or strawberries or something like that so that I'm utilizing the whole dehydrator. Okay. And then I'll put the big ones on. Now they're a little bit long, so I'm just gonna break them in half. Now, you can blend it into a finer powder if you choose to. We use this for bake or not baking, cooking. So really having it super fine, we don't need it like that. We did do the white onions really fine. And I may do this finer, I'm not sure. I might just mix them all together and have it be a bit of a mixture of an onion powder mix. Either way, it's gonna be a hundred times better than what you would buy at the store. And I would highly suggest that you try this. I mean, if you're growing these things already on your property, then they're free, so you should try it. Thanks for spending time with me.